And today we are celebrating the fact that we want to put an end to obstetric fistula around the world. For four years, she had been shunned from social gatherings due to an obstetric fistula. And one of the most dehumanizing health conditions affecting women through complicated childbirth. Unfortunately, her husband left her and people also made fun of her children because of the mother's condition. Mami Onya, as we call her for the purpose of this story, due to stigma, has finally undergone surgery to change her situation and is calling on other women with similar conditions to seek for medical attention. It was all joy when Mami Ama was pregnant with her fifth child. Little did she know that a pregnancy would end her in a condition that would curtail her freedom. It all started when she was in labor and there was no one to take her to the hospital. She was later sent to the hospital but had a prolonged labor. I got help to the hospital very late when I was in labor. A week after delivery, she noticed an unusual flow of urine. A week after delivery, I noticed I was passing urine uncontrollably, so I went to the hospital. Due to lack of finance, she couldn't access medical care. I was told I had to undergo surgery. But I didn't have the money, so I came back home. For the past four years, I was living with a condition until I became sick and went to the hospital again. Uma hospital. Obstetric fistula is one major condition affecting some two million women globally, though there is support and care for these women. Due to stigma associated with the condition, most women shy away from seeking health care, thereby compounding their conditions. Sounding emotional, she tells me, people make fun of her children due to her condition. And to make matters worse, her husband also left her. People make mockery of my children that I smell. And my husband also left me to marry another woman. The 47-year-old mother, through the aid of an NGO, is now relieved and is encouraging women in that condition to seek medical attention. This is a whole operation with the Adenayan and baby. This is my free. After the surgery, I am free and I urge all women in my situation to come to the hospital. She went through the surgery at the Kolebu Teaching Hospital where she's currently on admission. We are monitoring her vitals, which is her blood pressure, her temperature, her pulse, um, every four hours to make sure that she's stable. And then we are also encouraging her to take in enough um, fluids, which is water, and then or other liquids to keep the, we've, we inserted a catheter in there, so to keep the catheter from any um, blocks. The Kolebu Teaching Hospital repairs four cases monthly and 30 to 50 cases each year. Majority of cases are referred from mostly rural communities. A lot of our rural areas, people still deliver at home. It is true that we have come far as a country in terms of health care and technology and all the development. But in rural Ghana, a good number of women still deliver at home. Cost of the surgery is 3,000 cities. Obstetric fistula is a medical condition that causes a hole to develop between the rectum or the vagina of a pregnant woman. The most unfortunate cause of fistula is prolonged obstructed labor. And we say labor is obstructed when the baby cannot come out despite continuous effort from the mother continuous effort from the uterine contractions, the baby can just not come through. Dr. Ganyaglo mentions other conditions that can result in obstetric fistula. Teenage mothers should, or let's say teenage girls should delay pregnancy. 
primarily because in that setting, usually the pelvis is not fully developed and even the average size baby may have some difficulties coming through. Even those who are adults and have delivered several times before, if they do not go and deliver in hospital and a baby is bigger than the previous one, for instance, or the baby is not coming with the head and uh, you want to labor at home not knowing which part of the baby's body is presenting, it can be challenging. He recommended good antenatal care, hospital-based delivery, and being attended to by a health expert. A 2015 study estimates that 1,300 women in Ghana annually develop fistula, with 50 to 100,000 new cases recorded globally. But can these figures reduce? More awareness on causes, preventive measures and treatment could also help. Intensifying efforts with a human rights-based approach to end obstetric fistula is an integral component of achieving the Sustainable Development Goals by 2030 and leaving no one behind. This calls for improving maternal health, strengthening health systems, reducing health inequalities and increasing the levels and predictability of funding. Ghana joins the rest of the world to mark the day with a call to end fistula, to end the pain, shame and suffering of women during childbirth. AC Benewa Otu, TV3, Accra. Well, I must highlight that from what Dr. Ganyaglo said yesterday, most hospitals are offering free medical attention to women with obstetric fistula. So make sure you visit a hospital in your locality to make sure that we end this canker.